your gun, my gun, your gun. Welcome back to Airbrush Review. Today it's not that sunny, it's pretty cold here in South Africa, but it doesn't stop us. We've got the Eurogun here, we're going to do a quick unboxing what you get inside, and then we're going to do a 30 meter sighting in, then we're going to take it out to 50 meters, up to 100 meters with the JSB 18 grains. And then after that, we're going to go do the hunting. So we'll check you now for the unboxing. Let's do the unboxing. Let's see what you get inside this brilliant case. So it's a soft case for your gun, for the Eurogun compact that is. Let's see what you get inside. So we've opened it up so far. This is one of our demo guns. We put on a Discovery VT2 scope. So let's see what we get in this box. So we get our full station. We get some stickers. A very nice pen that we can use to measure our group sizes. We get two magazines, the other one is inside. And it comes standard with a silencer. How cool is that? That is awesome. This is really, really nice. So it's got a muzzle end cap here. So we screw that off. I'm surely we're going to put on the silencer. Let's check how it goes. That looks pretty sick. So let's take it out of the box. Let's feel our shoulders. Wow, this thing is pretty short. So this thing is about 63 centimeters in length. So it is quite short. It's like a little bullpup. The bottle is 210 cc bottle in the front here. Uh, with the standard settings from the factory, you get about 90 shots in 0.22. You get it in 0 0.22 and 177. So the 177, you get about 130 shots. It's got a nice little safety in the front here, so you can either use it with your finger, forward or back, and that's quite nice over there. But what is quite unique about this, if you see the cocking levers on this side of the gun, so you can take up quick follow-up shots the whole time. So that's quite nice. This little stock here at the back, it is uh, ambidextrous if you can look at it and you can also feel the texture on this on this stock here it's quite nice so it's a synthetic stock it's got a rubber butt pad that you can adjust up and down it's got a Pigatini rail on the top here and what's nice about this little bullpup is the barrel that's in here. It's a CZ barrel in this gun in 0.22 and it is regulated. You can adjust it on the inside here with your regulator if need but you don't need to and obviously you got your full gauge right here. So this is pretty neat little rifle so shoulders quite nice and this glass looks pretty cool through the scope. So let's not talk about this anymore let's show you how it does at 30 meters 50 and 100 and so on and it's pretty windy here today so i'm not taking it a doubt about this gun it will be able to shoot it just fine yep. hi this is how you will fill up this gun put in this thing it's my jibby my jobby jobbing whatever you want to call it full stash in and we screw it in looks pretty cool this little fill station looks quite sleek wow that looks quite nice look at that let's fill it up you do get a little cap that goes inside there but uh, we left it at the shop today but yeah this is how you would fill it up so to fill it up goes up to 300 bar can you believe that so make sure you've got a big enough tank to accommodate this amount of air so let's go for it can't believe it this little bottle look at my hand and the size of it we get 90 shots out of that that is amazing see how much pressure I have in this bottle
but 260, 70 that I got in the cylinder. Oh, that bleed off was pretty good, eh? Wow, if you buy this <laughs> air gun, you'll be stoked. I'm stoked. So I don't know if I told you guys, it's a 12 shot magazine, got the JSB 18 grains. I'm gonna shoot it at 30 meters. Let's check how it groups. So, let's see how it does at 30 meters. Five shot groupings, JSB 18 grains. So that was shooting at 792, now it's 793. That was Seven hundred and ninety-one and seven ninety-three. So that was five shot grouping or oh, six shot. Can't remember. I lost count because of all the noise. Sorry about the noise in the background. Uh, the people are working today, so let's go check how it looks down there. Let's go measure it with our new pen that we got. So I'm going to do my little trusty little pen that we got in the box. Let's check the grouping. So we'll measure it from inside diameter to outside diameter over here. Or let's say the inside inside, the furthest one that we can find. And take note, the wind is blowing. So that's about a 10 inch, uh, 10 millimeter group that we've got. So that's pretty good for 30 meters in this wind. Okay. Okay, so we're at 50 meters. It's at five shot groupings. The wind is blowing quite hectically, but this gun doesn't seem to fuss all of this wind. So let's check how it does. So we left the aim point there and it shoots on the first mill dot roundabout. Check how it does. I was at 793 feet per second. Seven Seven ninety two. Let's go for the last shot here. And that was seven ninety one. So it is quite consistent. Let's go check how it looks downrange. So have a look at this grouping. This was at fifty meters. So let's quickly take out a lack little pen. That was my aim point with the wind blowing around. Look where it is. So that is it. It is at 23 millimeters, that grouping. All right, so we're gonna try a 100 meter distance in this wind. Can't promise a good, good, good grouping, but let's see if we can hit that gong in this wind with the JSB 18 grains. One, and that was at 794, 7.93, 7.90, 7.89,
7.85. So let's go for one more. Let's check what it does. See how I'm holding for the wind. So let's go check that grouping. Can't promise anything, but at least I hit that target in this wind, which is pretty extraordinary. Well, that is our grouping at 100, your, uh, 100 meters. So that is quite big because of the wind that's blowing. So let's check. That's the furthest one, which is going to be 83 millimeters. 83 millimeters. One, two, three, four, five, six shots. So the wind is blowing. <laughs> this is the best I can get it. But believe you me, when the wind does die down, it's an inch group at 100 meters. But unfortunately, we are showing you everything in the real world conditions so that when you are shooting out in the wind, you know where to aim. That is the right size if you are going to shoot a pigeon at 100 meters for a bullpup. Oh, that was a good shot. It was at 50 meters, JSB 18 grain. Took it down quite well. Let's see, there's, there's more gonna land there now. Let's check with a follow-up shot or so. Oh, another one down. There we go. Shot the dove at 50 meters through the back it was splattering all over so it landed down there so that was a good shot and the wind is pumping today so it works so there's another big one right there rock pigeon let's check if we can get him and shoot it out of the face like this um, I'm just gonna move up a little bit so if the bullet does pass through it doesn't damage any of our cattle Oh, got him. That was quite a good shot. He expired right there. So let's go retrieve him. Got him. Beautiful headshot. And that was at 50 meters. And that was darn good. That was pretty good. I love that. That was at 30 meters, out of the hand, with his bullpup, perfect. Nice, followed that one a little bit. 
but got him. I was at 30 meters. So we decided to go and see while the sheep are busy feeding that the pigeons and doves would come and sit and feed with them. So it's a perfect place to come and shoot. Oh, that was a beautiful shot. That was at about 30 meters. Took him dead on. But I had to hold a little bit for the wind because the wind is blowing. You could have seen the grass there. It's going a little bit to the sides and so on. So yeah, that was pretty good. That's it. That was a good shot from the back. Managed to expire there on the floor. It is pretty windy out here today. And it's cold. It really is cold. But it's a very nice day. At least this is a great job to come and, come and shoot and test out guns and helping the farm out. So. That was a really good shot. I was also about 30 meters down and out. So they're starting to come in now. There's nothing after me. Can we see best as kids do, eh? Ja, sta hier in der Hall, ne? Also, wenn nicht, nicht los wird, ne? So, 30 Meter ist da. So, another shot at 30 meters on the dove from the back. Went down quite well. See you. That was a beautiful shot. 50 meters on top of the roof, took him out like a candle. So that was pretty sharp. Okay, thanks for watching Airbro's Review SA. I think we're gonna call it a day today. Uh, the wind is a little bit too bad. We can't get pigeons or anything like that. We did get some today, but it wasn't a very good day, but it, at least we could find something. So I'm pretty happy about that. See you in the next one. Cheers, goodbye.